Ever wondered how software engineering has evolved over the years? Well, let's take a trip back in time, all the way to the 1940s when the world was in the throes of the Second Great War. Amidst the chaos and destruction, the first computer was born. Yes, you heard it right. The birth of software engineering was as dramatic as it gets. It was during this time that the concept of software engineering was born as a way to make these new machines more useful and efficient. However, back then, programming a computer was no easy feat. It required manually setting switches and dials, a process that was both tedious and error-prone. A significant breakthrough came in the 1950s with the creation of assembly language. This made programming a tad bit easier but it was still a far cry from the high-level languages we use today. Programmers had to write instructions in a language that was closely related to the machine's own language, a process that was certainly not for the faint-hearted. But as they say, necessity is the mother of invention, and in this case, the necessity for a more efficient way to program computers led to the development of FORTRAN, the first high-level programming language. FORTRAN, an acronym for Formula Translation, was designed to allow scientists and engineers to program computers in a language similar to mathematical formulas, a language they were already familiar with. This was a game-changer in the world of software engineering. It not only made programming more accessible to a wider range of people, but also paved the way for the development of more high-level languages, which would come to define the next era of software engineering. So, as we step out of the 1950s, we see software engineering taking its first baby steps, much like a toddler learning to walk. It was a time of experimentation, discovery, and above all, innovation. Little did the pioneers of that era know, they were laying the foundation for a field that would revolutionize the world in ways they could have never imagined. The 1950s ended with software engineering taking its first baby steps. The 1960s was a decade of growth and expansion for software engineering. Let's rewind a bit to the swinging 60s, a time of radical change and innovation not just in culture and fashion, but also in the realm of software engineering. This era witnessed the birth of several significant programming languages including Algol, COBOL, and BASIC. Algol, short for algorithmic language, was a family of high-level programming languages. It was a brainchild of international collaboration, designed to be a universal language for communicating algorithms. Algol was instrumental in establishing the concept of structured programming and influenced many later languages. Around the same time, COBOL, or Common Business Oriented Language, came into existence. The U.S. Department of Defense, in a bid to create a portable programming language for data processing, conceived COBOL. It was designed to be easily read, almost like English, and quickly became the go-to language for business data processing. Not long after we saw the creation of BASIC, Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. Designed to be a simple language for beginners to learn, BASIC was a stepping stone for many into the world of programming. It made programming accessible to a wider audience, not just the mathematicians and scientists, as we approached the end of the 1960s, the seeds of another significant development were sown, the Unix operating system. Unix was revolutionary in its simplicity and elegance. It was designed to be portable, multitasking and multi-user in a time-sharing configuration. Unix's design philosophy and principles have had a profound influence on software engineering and have shaped the development of many later systems. The Unix system also paved the way for the creation of the C programming language in the early 1970s. C brought a new level of efficiency and flexibility to software development. The influence of C is seen in many of today's popular languages, like Python and Java, which have borrowed heavily from its syntax and philosophy. The 1970s marked the start of a new era in software engineering. With the foundation laid in the 1960s, the stage was set for software engineering to explode into the technological powerhouse we know today. The 1980s saw an explosion of growth in the realm of software engineering. This was a time when computers were becoming more accessible, and the need for advanced programming languages was on the rise. In the midst of this tech boom, a new era dawned in the world of programming with the development of object-oriented programming. This approach to coding allowed for the creation of complex software systems and offered a whole new level of flexibility and efficiency. The torchbearer of this revolution was C++, a language that has shaped the course of software development in ways we still feel today. Developed by Bjarne Straustrup in the early 80s, C++ brought the concept of classes and objects to the programming world. 
This powerful language opened doors to new possibilities and paved the way for a new generation of software engineers. But C++ wasn't the only game changer. In the late 80s, Python slithered its way into the programming scene. Created by Guido Van Rossum, Python was designed with simplicity and readability in mind. Its straightforward syntax, combined with its powerful capabilities, made it an instant hit. Python's influence continues to grow, and it's now one of the most widely used languages in the world. With the 90s came the World Wide Web, a revolutionary platform that would forever change the way we communicate, work, and live. The web presented a new set of challenges and opportunities for software engineering. To meet these demands, Java was born. Designed for the internet era, Java brought the promise of, write once, run anywhere. And let's not forget JavaScript. Despite the name, it has no relation to Java. It was developed to make web pages more interactive and dynamic. JavaScript is now an essential part of the web, powering everything from simple animations to complex single-page applications. The 1990s were a time of rapid advancement and innovation in the field of software engineering. This period laid the groundwork for the technologies we use today and set the stage for the future of software engineering. The boom was just the beginning and the best is yet to come. The 2000s brought about a new age of software engineering with the rise of mobile computing and the Internet of Things. In the era of smartphones and smart devices, the need for new programming languages and technologies became more apparent. Enter C-Hash, Swift, and Rust. C-Hash, introduced by Microsoft in the early 2000s, brought a new level of simplicity and flexibility to the .NET framework. It addressed some of the complexities of C++ while maintaining its power making it a favorite among many developers. Then came Swift in 2014, introduced by Apple to replace the more complex Objective-C. Its speed, safety, and ease of learning made it an instant hit among iOS developers. Swift made building apps for iPhones and iPads a breeze, and it quickly cemented its place in the world of mobile computing. Not to be left behind, Rust arrived on the scene in 2015. It promised memory safety without sacrificing performance. Rust's focus on system-level programming made it popular among developers looking to build reliable and efficient software. But the modern era of software engineering is not just about new languages, it's also about sharing knowledge and collaboration. The rise of open-source software paved the way for developers all over the world to contribute to and learn from each other's code. This democratization of software development has led to faster innovation and a sense of global community among developers. And let's not forget the exciting world of artificial intelligence and machine learning. As the need for smart and personalized software grows, so does the demand for AI and ML technologies. These fields have revolutionized how we build and use software, from personal assistants like Siri and Alexa, to recommendation algorithms on Netflix and YouTube. We've come a long way since the early days of software engineering and the future holds even more exciting possibilities. From quantum computing to augmented reality, who knows what the next revolution in software engineering will be, but one thing's for sure it's a great time to be a software engineer. So what does the future hold for software engineering? As we look forward, we see a horizon teeming with potential. Quantum computing, a field that's been simmering on the back burner for years, is now coming to a boil. It's a brave new world where bits are no longer binary but can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This quantum leap could lead to unprecedented advancements in computational power and efficiency, solving problems that are currently beyond our reach. Then, there's the blockchain, an ingenious invention that's not just for cryptocurrencies anymore. This technology has the potential to revolutionize how we conduct transactions, manage contracts, and even how we vote. The transparency and security offered by blockchain technology could usher in a new era of trust in digital interactions. Let's not forget about augmented reality, or AR. This technology overlays digital information onto our physical world, enhancing our perceptions and interactions. From gaming to healthcare to education, Arkansas has the potential to transform a wide range of industries. Imagine a world where you can repair a car engine with step-by-step -step digital instructions overlaid onto the actual engine, or where you can explore ancient history by walking through a virtual Roman Colosseum in your living room. But these are just a few glimpses into the future of software engineering, the possibilities are as vast as our imaginations. What's more, these technologies will not exist in isolation. The convergence of quantum computing, blockchain, and AR could lead to synergistic innovations that we can't even fathom right now. From assembly language to AI, 
The journey of software engineering has been a fascinating one. Who knows what the future holds? But one thing is for certain, software engineering will continue to evolve and shape our world in ways we can only imagine.